We have a whole life ahead of us. Whole life. Most of you guys are way over there right now. Look forward to all this right here. Some of us are right over here. Some of us right here. Some of us right here. We still got a lot of ways to go. All this right here. Everything you see around here was a playground. And that's what I used to hear every morning, every night. It's those kind of things right there. That coyote. My mom grew up this way. My grandma grew up this way. My mom was born in a Hogan. My grandma was born in a Hogan. Grandpa was born in a Hogan. Those kind of things are things that I wish had happened to me. Then, now, corn pollen is my feet. Corn pollen is in my legs. Corn pollen is in my soul. Corn pollen is in my hands. Corn pollen is in my face. Corn pollen is in my voice. Corn pollen is in my mental plume going towards the sky. When you say yat, hey, you're being in the middle of the sky and the ground between the earth and the sky. That is you. Everybody here has a history. And everybody here has a future. It's easier to go to the grocery store rather than butcher a sheep. It's easier to go see the doctor when you're hurt rather than go out there and go find plants. Take care of things that way. <clears throat> it's easier to turn on the water faucet rather than go get to go haul water. <clears throat> we understand those things and we're moving away from that stuff. And that's why we have this camp. We want to make sure that that kind of stuff doesn't go away without a fight. Your breath can make it down to your toes. Your breath can be in your ears all the way down to your fingertips. Feel your soles of your feet breathing in from the earth. We believe as Navajos that it's something Navajo people have because it's food. We'll never be hungry. We'll always be rich. And we share it with other people. It's an honor to the graduates. Birthdays, you get a sheep, butcher it for that person. And then the wool used for weaving. And then there's ceremonial purpose too. There are some ceremonies that uh, uh, some people, they're uh, told not to eat the insides and certain parts of the meat. And Al-Tanaj Bejis, they need to get that refix back for them. So there's a certain way that we fix that. Your family will be proud of you when you show them that you learned something. <laughs> Ages go by and things pass you by and young ones, they come up and look different. They grow up, step forward, volunteer, because you're going to do it. You know how, you're going to do it. What's the first thing when a person comes to you to ask the butcher? What's the first question you pose to them? For what? There's a ceremonial purpose, and there's a normal everyday survival butchering. See how clean it is? This is our ancestors' way. Let me show you, sister. Let me show you. No, no, nothing until we've done it. Oh! This, to me, is what this camp is about. Adults who can share stuff, pass on knowledge and keep the circle strong. I think by all of us working hard today, we all learned a lot. And that we will throughout the week.
If your range of motion with your knife is big, then you need to have more room. But if we're just using our hands in a small motion, keeping our range in a small place, and we're going to be cutting jerky. And jerky is a whole different process in that you don't have to do a lot of chopping. It's all slicing and it's dragging the blade along that edge. Okay, keep going straight on down, straight towards the ground. Before you get to that edge, stop. They're not worried about flies landing on it. What they're worried about is those eggs turning into maggots. They never get there. How come? They die. Why do they die? Because chili kills them and salt kills them. So flat and then pushed. And as soon as it stops, that's the angle. The proper way to hand a knife to somebody if there's a sheath around is in the sheath. And then you hold the end that's not got the handle on it. And you wait for them to look at you. You don't want to cut the hide because once you start cutting the hide, you get these holes. You got to sew those up. But if you go like skin, when you were skinning a little bit, or you can use it and kind of just rough it up. If you're laughing, you're going to be having fun. If you're having fun, you're going to be learning something. So let's go have some fun.